The track is clear. The green signal light glows steadily. And yes, here they come, those magnificent Lionel trains. Boy, what realism, what power. Look at that scale detail. Listen to the steam turbine locomotive as it comes thundering down the main line, pulling a long string of cars. That whistle is built right into the tender, and it blows with the touch of a remote control button. Real railroad men say it's absolutely lifelike. Now the train's on the straightaway, coming closer. You can see the white smoke billowing out of the stack, puffing with the action of the giant drivers. Fun? You said it. Now it approaches the fast fuel bridge. Impatiently, the powerful 20-wheel locomotive waits for the bridge to lower. There, the bridge is down. And here it comes, the Lionel Limited. Boy, this is real railroading, the Lionel way. Don't miss seeing these wonderful new trains. With speed, power, and detail, it's amazing in accuracy. And remember, when you get Lionel, you get the best. the official railroad whistle signals. Practice them with your Lionel train. Notice how real and lifelike Lionel whistles are. They operate by remote control. This means apply brakes. Release brakes. Flagman, protect rear of train. Train has parted while running. Grade crossing whistle. Now to back up train which is standing still. And here are warning blasts for persons or livestock on track. You will find these whistles exciting fun when operating your Lionel model train. is the dramatic story of progress and transportation. From the earliest horse-drawn coach to the streamliner of today, we laugh at the thought of a horse out racing a locomotive, but that's what happened more than a century ago when one of the first steam-driven passenger trains in America, the Tom Thumb, came in a poor second to old Dobbin. But Tom Thumb grew into a giant, and old Dobbin was left far behind. Years of progress changed the size, power, and speed of these chariots of the rails, and a railroad engineer became something of a hero. More than just a story of progress, railroading became part of the drama of America's dynamic growth from a frontier society to a great nation whose mighty cities and farms and factories are linked by bands of steel. Just as America has grown apace with the phenomenal progress of its railroads, so does young America grow up with model trains. The American boy who dreams of someday becoming an engineer spends many happy hours playing with realistic models like the ones displayed in this wonderful showroom. These miniature lines have most of the features of real railroads, stations, switches, tunnels, bridges, signal towers, even realistic scenery. And the little engines and cars are amazingly accurate, perfect to the tiniest detail. What hours of fun and excitement are spread out here before the delighted gaze of a little boy. Railroads have come a long way since the days of Tom Thumb, and model railroads have come a long way since the days of the spring winder Dad used to play with when he was a boy. Dad was born too soon. Look what he missed. Electricity runs the little streamliners and freight trains. It operates the switches and signal towers and the other intricate devices that make model railroading as wonderfully interesting and complicated as the real thing. To 
a boy who dreams of growing up to be the engineer of a big, black, powerful steam engine, the hours of apprenticeship spent on a small-scale line are richly rewarding. Here he is king. Here at his bidding, the trains start and stop. The whistles blow. The lights flash. The switches turn. He is lord and master of all the railroad he surveys. of American boys have looked longingly at models like these, have asked generations of American fathers to buy them trains like this, and have cluttered up living rooms with yards and yards of track to the dismay of generations of American mothers. As long as there are youngsters, there will be model trains and all the other paraphernalia that make model railroading the big thrill in a little boy's life. Sleep comes easily to little boys and so do dreams. In his dreams, he travels fast and far into history. He has been her racing his chariot in the Colosseum of ancient Rome. He is skipper of a full-rigged ship, captain of a clipper rounding the horn. He feels a kinship with John Paul Jones. The adventure and romance of travel are woven into the fabric of his dreams, and he sails on through the night. decorated ace and takes off in a jet fighter. Up, 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 flying faster than the speed of sound, faster than the speed of dreams. Now he cries, Geronimo! And bails out over enemy territory. he dreams about trains. How could he help it after that visit to the model train exhibit? He doesn't wait till he grows up to become the engineer. He just dreams he's one. He dreams he's Casey Jones, that fearless, brave engineer famed in story and song. And he is all set for the fastest, most exciting train ride in history to the coast and back, non-stop, in the time it takes to dream it. Over! The world is a dream, and a dream is a train as Casey Jones sits in the cab of his locomotive and thunders across the country. Cities and farms roll past in a vast panorama of sight and sound. Just wait till Skinny and the other kids hear about this. Won't they be jealous? The fires burn and the steam sings and the wheels turn. The train picks up dust in Kansas and lets it down again in Oklahoma. The whistle blows in Florida and they hear it in Vermont. The smoke rises over the prairie and they see it in the city. Lickety cut, lickety cut, listen to the clickety click. a falling star. So back you autos, back you cows, I'm coming as fast as the law allows. Country experience. 
Express, our pint-sized Casey Jones, has been bitten by the railroad bug for good. Asleep or awake, he will hear the rumble of the wheels singing in his ears the rest of his life.
Buffalo again. You know, during my years in the news business, I've reported countless stories. Stories unusual or all too familiar. Stories sad and bright. These days, it's rare to be able to report a story which is both unusual and bright, or even more important, actually exhilarating. When a newsman finds not one, but four such stories originating in a single source, he knows he has scored a beat. But this, friends, is actually the case with Lionel in 62. Four separate stories, and every one of them is upbeat, exciting, full of promise. Our lead story is trains, where Lionel first established its world-famous reputation. Now let's look at some of the great features Lionel has added for 1962. of trains for 1962, section one, featuring six new Lionel 27 operating cars designed for double action, action in sales, action in play. <laughs> this is the new Mercury capsule launching car, keen to the interest of the space age. It's a replica of the Atlas rocket and man-carrying Mercury capsule, mounted on a special flat car launching platform. This is the new cherry picker car that moves the astronaut to the hatch of the Mercury capsule. His job done, the cherry picker backs off. The remotely triggered rocket and capsule zoom high into the air. At a predetermined height, the capsule separates from the rocket automatically, releasing a parachute, which settles it gently to earth. Two great new cars, packed with action, and they're Lionel new all the way through. This is the new turbo missile firing car about to launch its missile at the new aerial target launching car. And believe it or not, the target is held in place by a jet of air produced by an air compressor built right into the car. And it's four, three, two, one, fire. Direct hit by the turbo missile. Mission accomplished. This is the new reconnaissance copter car. An innocent looking freight car with a top that opens automatically to launch a Navy helicopter high into the air. Another new Lionel action car created to capture the interest and imagination of young America. Now this is the new cop and hobo car. A specially designed freight car that permits two figures, a cop and a hobo, to change places from trestle to moving freight and from freight to trestle. It's another Lionel operating car with a cop and hobo chase that really packs an action wallet. The new motorized hand car. With two railroad maintenance men pumping the handles to send the car scooting down the track.
isn't the big new motorized turntable. Excitingly different, this turntable requires no bolts or screws, no marring or cutting of the tabletop. It's surface mounted in seconds for still another real as life Lionel touch. Now, Lionel continues its merchandise policy of introducing its best-selling 027 operating cars into H.O. For 1962, look what Lionel has done to the constantly increasing H.O. train business. The new Minuteman Little Watching Car. The new sheriff and outlaw car shown here with the sheriff shooting it out with the outlaw while protecting the new gold bullion car. And simultaneously with their introduction in 027, this select group of exciting big volume items completely new to model railroading are also being introduced into the H.O. line for 62. The new turbo missile firing car. The new cop and hobo car. The new rodeo car. And the new mercury capsule carrying car. And there's big news in Lionel HO locomotives too. Really big news. Now for the first time in HO, a Lionel steamer with whistle. Now for the first time in HO, a diesel with horn. In the examples we have just seen, is ample proof that Lionel is maintaining its policy of keeping model railroading timely, up to the minute, and geared to the space age in both 027 and H.O. Gage.
Flying Locos. Limited. 
train, now I'm the train, to the train.
Just one second, folks. Sorry about this. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> 